welcome to my budget deck channel where I try to make decks as playable and cheap as possible. And today I had a look at uh, Despians, which or Despia, which is uh, a new deck that was added to uh, Master Duel recently. And it, let me tell you, the budget version of it is fine. It's not great, great. Uh, let's talk about great variants. Our uh, Shadol variants are very good. I felt like the Art Lord variants are quite competent. Stuff with Alistair uh, is always a uh, great invocation things uh, make the stick pop off a bit at least. Predator plan stuff isn't great great but it is playable so uh, keep that in mind. And obviously cards like Super Poly are uh, quite neat in the stick. So this variant is focusing more on going second and that is for the simple fact because you rely on stuff like Fall of Albas and the effects of your fusion monsters and the whole deck is kind of set around interacting with your opponent's monsters which is quite nice in certain circumstances but also creates multiple problems. Problem number one is if your opponent doesn't have a monster then uh, you don't do much uh, sadly and uh, second point is if your opponent plays loads of spell traps that's also a problem because you don't really have spell trap card removal so going for stuff like lightning storm would probably be nice if you want to completely focus on this going second. This version is meant to be mainly going second but still being able to do stuff going first and let's start right off with the cards despian comedy nice card bit of protection in it also you can kind of not get otk with this card possibly if you tribute a fusion monster which sounds a bit stupid just to summon out this card but sometimes you can dodge removal and still keep a uh, field presence alive then also it can trigger the effects of your fusion cards at least these three um so in the end phase you can still do stuff Next card is quite the playmaker of the deck, uh, Despian Tragedy is nice, you sadly miss timing if you use it for cost uh, discarding it to the graveyard so be wary of this but Paleozoic, Dynamiscus and the branded opening do not do these kind of things, sadly the heralds do this but getting into the heralds they are actually quite essential for this kind of variant of the deck because it's pure because most of your cards are fairies and if you go second especially uh, with a budget deck you kind of want to make sure your opponent doesn't ftk you and if they kill you in their first turn and you don't play many hand traps which budget decks don't because they're all ultra rares then this version at least has some kind of cards that can do stuff about it sadly it just fills up your graveyard some of the cards have graveyard effects so it's not completely wasted but most of it uh, you will resor use, lose resources with it but you might net one or two wins if uh, you disrupt your opponent uh, with in their kind of combo and they can't go off so the herald package seems quite fine plus having a light monster can help you with two fusion monsters which is the despian one and the branded one which i assume you should be running with uh, one ultra rare it's a bit annoying but uh, two ultra rares for a deck should be still fine. I don't count Ash Blossom because this card is in the Wii pack with the Master Duo, uh, Master Packs. Uh, too much of Masters there. Um, next one, Fallen of Albas, is a great card, but this is where it comes in handy. It's like a, well, it's like a miniature Super Poly, but just in a lot worse because you uh, still have to use the main amount of resources because you have to discard a card and also use this card on your field and you can only use one opponent's monster which is uh, kind of annoying well technically not but you know usually for your fusions you will only be using one opponent's monster um so it is very well you lose resources by it plus your opponent can't respond to it other than comparison to super poly so this is a bit worse but it opens up certain amount of combos and it's fine um different card Alubur, or back in the days called Albert when it first came out in the OCG, um, is a neat card. It actually searches your branded spell traps, which is why you probably run one branded in white. Not the greatest card, but it does help you in the grind game being able to summon from your graveyard, and you will have loads of cards in your graveyard. So this card is actually okay at one, since you can search it by multiple different means, and it gets your branded opening this card. So this is already good, but the graveyard effect is even better from time to time you can negate the effect of a monster of your opponents which most of the time won't be coming in too handy anymore at this point but it can help you sadly it's only at the end of this turn which makes this effect even worse but at least you can summon this card out again and since this effect triggers on being special summoned you can search another branded card dramaturge of despia is a nice card to run because it gives you some other form of interruption works well together with your fusion monster it's sadly a super rare and uh, sadly you can summon it out when it's banished 
from the graveyards to fusion summon with its second effect which would probably be a bit overpowered but i don't know i feel like this card is nice but it's not super super nice if you know what i mean um albion the shadow dragon is a neat card it helps you go through your deck a bit it adds a dragon card to the deck which helps with plant in white for example sometimes it's a level 8 monster so this can help for one of the fusion monsters it's neat it's not broken or anything it's good in the pure variant but uh, you probably wouldn't really run in any of the other variants um this kaiju is a nice card you could go for the dark one but i want to add more light cards to the deck plus it's a level 8 or higher monster so it comes in handy for albus shenanigans if your opponent doesn't have any of the attributes and stuff that you need for the fusions then this card can come in handy already talked about branded white it's a fusion card it's good it's not perfect in any way but you can send it to the grave with the dragon you can search it with the Al alibur um so it does what it's meant to do but it's not overwhelming the same as uh, theater of the branded i think it is <laughs> i should be um it's a neat card it searches you nothing unlike any other field spell but it does actually fusion summon which is a bit strange as a field spell but the second effect also sometimes comes in handy especially since you in a budget version only run one despian uh, fusion monster level eight don't not even gonna try and pronounce their name it's nice because you can actually uh, <laughs> get it back from the graveyard but it doesn't come up that much and usually your opponent just destroys it before you do anything with it anyway forbidden chalice good card going first good card going second especially in budget decks branded opening a card that works really well in conjunction with like shadow effects because it doesn't discard for cost so this card is really nice for these kind of de decks where that matters also it's well it works etally but you can actually get one despia monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it which is not level restricted that is pretty good but you cannot uh, normal special summon monsters from the extra deck except your fusion monsters but look at our extra deck there's only fusions anyway um and uh, one paleozoic dynamiscus sometimes uh, this deck won't otk so going into the grind game with this card can be quite nice get rid of certain cards that cannot be destroyed which your de deck sometimes lacks uh can get rid of uh, annoying floodgate spell trap cards as well if you really need to and it can trigger a tragedy so this card i felt like in testing worked as good as it can work well let's jump into the extra deck real quick i only run eight cards obviously you want to fill this out as much as you can but i didn't want to put any kind of shit in there now especially since i don't run any pots of extravagance or whatnot so this extra deck is the main cards you will be using you could run stuff like rank fours if you have good ones if you don't have good ones uh, since all the good ones are at least super rare but mainly ultra rare then you can go for certain link monsters if you want to but I don't feel like they were doing as much for me anyway in testing so i kept it simple we have this card the we uh, beast monster which works with tri brigades sadly not uh, that good and i didn't want to include tri brigades I actually tried running a tri brigade despia variant it wasn't as good as i wanted it to be so i did not go for that one um the effect of this card isn't great but you at least can target other monsters you control with monster with monster effects so yeah wish it was a bit better than this but it is not in the end uh this card is actually pretty good it's uh sadly one time it came up that i run jizukiro and uh, the <laughs> ice prison kind of screwed me over because they're both machine monsters so um you know that's a bit of a downside but that shouldn't be coming up too many times you can move this card to the you, zone you control uh, ah, to another main monster zone and then blow up basically all cards in that zone which can be neat especially if your opponent plays like somewhat of a link deck and they're not for some reason uh, destruction protected so this card is quite nice also they all have this in the end phase you will be able to summon one form of albus or a springens card in this case but you don't run any of those the branded dragon is quite nice because it lets you fusion summon from your graveyard also quite neat can help you get into certain things you could technically run stuff like rank eights as well with this card in conjunction but they are also not budget and you just put stuff in your extra deck that mean you won't be going into anyway so i felt like not mentioning it in this deck profile other than that same effect you uh, that you can do stuff in the end phase but this time it's not getting a fallen of albus out this time it's adding or setting one branded spell trap directly from your deck which is nice 
you know, the branded stuff is okay, you can use it, it's not terrible, not like the attack points of this card anyway. You could run the branded spell trap, like the, the, the trap card that blows up monsters um, that have more attack than your fusion level 8 monster. I felt in testing this card was clogging up my hand every single time and I never really got to use it because it's a trap card. If it was a spell card, I might think about it, especially with the whole going second kind of thing, but like this, it didn't really come up at all. Um, especially because this card actually lowers your opponent's attack points, so it doesn't work together whatsoever. This card is really good, and you probably want to run two or three in this deck, but it, since it's budget, I really wanted to go with one. The effect isn't overly great. It could facilitate some more damage, but since the deck doesn't really OTK that much, because this specific variant doesn't build up that much of an advantage, um, yeah, it's okay, but if it leaves the field, then at least you can add stuff or special summon things again which can be quite neat it's a great card but it's not amazing amazing same for this one sadly you need three materials which is a bit problematic um it's okay you can basically do all kinds of shenanigans with this card if your opponent runs an extra deck heavy deck and you already got rid of certain stuff with uh, destroying things uh, with your kaiju for example then this is fine also it triggers the effect of your dramaturge which is quite neat sometimes and it does some burn damage so you can finish off your opponent in one or two turns which is nice but uh, it's good in the grind game kind of if you use it uh, with in conjunction with branded and white then you can summon this from uh, with materials from the graveyard the opponent will probably have extra deck stuff in the graveyard by this point so you can do a little bit of a comeback at this point uh, not overly great, but uh, it's all you have in this kind of variant of the deck. This is the deck profile. The deck is fairly all right. It's not amazingly competitive or anything, but you can do loads of stuff with this card, especially if new support for Despia comes out, then this deck will be even better. Also, you can mix it with loads of different archetypes and actually cre create a competitive monster, I would say, with this, uh, with this kind of skeleton so if you want to try out if you like the play style and then start adding more expensive cards to it i would say this is the build to go for um this is the end of the deck profile hope you enjoyed it leave a like comment subscribe blah 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 do all of these things that other youtubers tell you to do but most importantly have a good day